How, how old are you? 12. 12. Uh, you know that I know that, but we're telling everybody yeah. how old you are. Awesome. So you're a, a first year U14. Uh-huh. Yeah, cool. So I want you to explain to me in your words what you're thinking about with your inside leg, what that leg does for you. I'm thinking about driving it forward, but I'm not thinking about driving it so far forward that my hips get like this and it's really hard to turn in. So I'm thinking about using that natural lead to my advantage and putting power on it. What a, what a great way to put it, that natural lead to your advantage, okay? So what does, uh, and you've been focusing on shortening that inside leg, right? Yeah. Making it shorter, what, what does that do for you? It gives you, it stacks you over your skis more, but if I'm like this, my hips can't, right? I can't really carve. But when I'm more stacked over myself, I can roll it over on the edge. And when you get that shorter inside leg, you, you start to get higher edge angle. Yep, and then you can make your turn radius shorter. Is it a funny thing for you to be focusing now on the inside leg as opposed to that outside leg? Well, when I was in U10, I probably thought that you were crazy and that I probably shouldn't listen to you, but now I can see why it's important to focus on the inside leg. And, and what's it doing for you? It's letting me get shorter inside leg, longer outside leg, and roll, being a roll up and create more angles with my skis. But that also means that I can make a tighter radius. Okay, like, are you the coach now? You put that beautifully. That was way good. There you go, I like it. Because if you just stand on this outside ski, you can still kind of fall in. Yeah. But if you level, you can't fall in. I like it. Okay, let's see it, Wilson. Okay, I'm gonna wait for a gap in these people. Yep, find a window. Having the tipping of your skis and your leveling and the shortening of your inside leg all match that turn radius that you are looking for, right? right. You're not doing anything too fast. Yeah. You're not doing anything Think too choppy or yeah. too quickly. Not dirty. Not dirty, exactly. Clean entry, clean exit. Yeah. Thank they you. might be a little big, but they're clean at least. Yeah. Do you feel that right now they're a little bit big? I feel like on that little gentler pitch that we were doing, I was making a pretty good sized arc, but then up above I was getting a little drawn out as I got faster. But then once I got on the uh, half or gentler pitch, it's easier, or it's not, you can manage your speed better. You know, when it gets steeper and when it gets firmer and icier, yeah. it gets more difficult. That, yep. And then we're getting into the big time, aren't we? Yeah. And that's that's all the stuff you're learning. Yeah, well done, Wilson. Thank you. Awesome. So, Wilson, you've started to pay more attention to your physical conditioning. And are you feeling a difference when you're on the hill? Yeah. How so? Well, I never knew how important core was to skiing. I thought it was just like... Oh yeah, have your core okay. But now, I, after once I'm working on this inside knee drive, I really feel my core after every run. Wow. Cool. And I know that's one of the things that I just got to keep getting better at. Okay. That's awesome. Um, is your stamina improving? Yes. Like, are you, how about, you know, non-stop runs with a lot yep. of turn? I mean, that's getting better. Last year, I don't know if I could have done that run non-stop GS arc in it. But this run, I this year I've done this today. I'm doing like five hours of that. Okay, let's go do some more. Rip it. All right. So when you get onto the steeper pitch, I want you to think about not dropping onto that inside foot. Okay. Okay. Level. Yeah. There you go. Level. Just ride the ski down here, 
drive it, work that inside leg. That's much better. That's way different. Wow. When you're on the flats, it's a delicate, subtle move. But it's still happening. Then when it gets steeper, it's more pronounced and exaggerated. You can't just park and ride it. You got to drive it. Do you feel a difference, Wilson, when uh, you're just going along for the ride? And then when you just, when that inside knee starts to dictate your turn radius, yeah. that inside leg gets shorter, you get higher edge angle, you drive yep. it. You, make, you can make your turn faster. Yeah. You still have to be patient, but you can make it faster. I mean, the, the, your turn radius, your arc radius completely changed. Changes. Yeah, it's tipping across the blade. Drive that knee, come on. There you go. Let's see your super G arms. Super G arms. There you go. 